Hi, I'm Yannick Kampfmann. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudler. This is Sebastian Ofner. It's Mark Andrea Wiesler. I am Francisco Serundolo. And, and you're listening to the Game to the Podcast. Hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> 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 Epic final, Novak Djokovic, Carlos Alcaraz. We saw it in Wimbledon and we're going to get it at the US Open. He's going to be able to handle a situation in a Grand Slam final against Djokovic because he's beaten him in one. I'm going for Carlos Alcaraz. The main man, the number 24, Novak Djokovic. US Open time, baby, let's go! Goff could be our US Open champion. Free set final in which Iga wins. Near on near impossible that Djokovic doesn't make the final. Novak Djokovic claiming his 24th Grand Slam title on the women's side. Bingo. No surprise here. I think that Novak Djokovic will win this year's US Open and Coco Goff is going to be the American that wins it on the women's side. That Novak Djokovic will win this Grand Slam beating Alcaraz in the final. I believe that Sabalenka is going to uh, ace up this uh, Grand Slam. Sabalenka and Djokovic take it. Novak Djokovic will have as many Grand Slams as there are hours in the day. Oz is going to do it. I really believe. I think Oz has learned from her mistakes. Novak Djokovic is going to win the US Open. Arena Sabalenka is winning her second Grand Slam. Carlos Alcaraz is going back to back. He's going to defend his US Open title. Coco Goff on home soil is taking home the cake. Goff will win. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we go. Iga Sviantek up against Kaya Yuvan for the third round here of the US Open. For some reason, they didn't put the live stream up until the match had already begun. So it gave me a little bit of a scare. Um, but we are with it. It's only the first game. Iga's taken the first game on serve. We'll get the scoreboard up for you now. Here it is. There you go. Perfect. And we've got Idimo Lady in. Good to see you. How are you doing? Let's get some predictions in the live chat, please, people. Right. So I'm sure you know how I'm going to go with this one. I will be going with an eager win here. Um, I think Yuvan's pretty good, but I feel that would be just two close sets here today. Maybe we'll get a 6-3, six, six, 6, maybe 6-3, six, 6-3. Three, six, three. I'm going to go with 6-3, six, 6-3. Three, six, three. Let me know if you agree. Pop yours in the live chat now. Lee Loops are in the building, going with 6-4, six, 6-1. Six, good forehand there from Iga. Oh, it lands in from Yuvan, but it does get put away. 6-4-6-1. You're expecting Eager to really step it up in this match. Last match. I'd say she didn't play her best, but just managed to just, just got it done, didn't she? This is all that really matters in these first few rounds. And we'll be keeping an eagle eye out on uh, the other court as well. Because we also have Ostapenko going to be starting soon. Obviously, the winner of both those matches will face each other. And we're all hoping for the eager Ostapenko matchup. Right. Here we go. Manor was in a bit earlier, a bit early. It's giving Yazda the other girl. I mean, Kai Yuvan. And it's Love 30. Eager off to a fast start. Don't expect it any other way. Serve him. It's in from Yuvan. That's a really good forehand into the open court. And Eager's lob doesn't quite make the net. You have to excuse me. Came back from a run. And still, even after a shower, still somehow sweating. So I don't know how that works. But... That's what happens, unfortunately, if you're me. 
So, 15.30. Some crazy other scores going on on the men's side at the moment. Oh, it's just clipped the outside edge of the line and Iga goes wide with her backhand. Davidovich Vakina lost the first two sets against Tommy Paul, 6-1, six, 6-love. Six, now he's 4-1 up in the third set. I mean, I'm, how many minutes has been played there? An hour and 18 and they're already nearly three sets gone. What a crazy match that one is. Other matches coming up very soon. Karatsev Shelton. That's right up there as one of my picks of the day. Brady Wozniacki. Got to keep an eye out for Wozniak. She's back. Can she get through to the fourth round? Wozniak. Wozniak is back. Sorry about that. Just a little late. And you it's can't right. afford to ever be too late with Eager because she gets the matches done very quickly. And I, as much as the last match I found a tad boring, it was quite interesting to see the matchup between her and, um, who was it? Savile? The name's gone. No, no. Savile, yeah, Savile. Was it Savile? And um, yeah, she was just so weak. I'm interested to see how Kaya Yuvan fares. I think Kaya Yuvan has a little bit more. Uh, but yeah. the way this has started, we've got Breakpoint, Eager, Early Doors. It could go the same way. And I'm predicting a straight set victory yet again. I don't think Kaya Yuvan, she's another one. She's too low ranked to be able to compete with Iga. Yeah. Well, What's your prediction? I went 6-3, six, 6-3, three, six, three, I reckon. But we've already got the break. And it comes off of a shank of the racket of Yuvan. Let's go, Eager. Bagel on the cards. Speaking of... Eager. Eager. Spionte. Non-stop! The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Brits sticking up bagel in. I'm Eager. We know you, child. I'm a feature. I'm gonna be you, child. I'm Eager. I'm gonna see you, child. Now you can handle my heat now. There we go, mm -hmm. to love. What were you speaking about? I was going to say, speaking of lower ranked people, we got Wozniacki Brady, 623 in the world versus 433 in the world. And I think Wozniacki is going to win. It's going to be a tough match, to be honest. I think it's even, isn't it? Who do the bookies have? The bookies, yeah, slightly on Wozniacki's side. Okay, interesting. I think that's a real pick and one, that one. I have no idea who's going to win. Oh, what a shot that is from Kai Yuvan. It's come back, smashed into the corner. Eager not going to get that one back. Nope. 15 all, but I mean, Eager's going about her business quite quickly. You've predicted straight sets. I think straight sets. How many games for Yuvan? Six, max. Six. That's pretty hmm. generous. Well, the way it started, I'm going to go brave then. I'm going to go four, Max. Four. Yuvan's pretty solid normally. Yuvan's but... good, though, but I think um, Iga's a different animal. She's been so good. And I don't think she played even great against Savile. She just had a few wobbles. Different sport, isn't it, they're playing? <laughs> Sometimes. There you go. 15 all. Second serve, Iga. It's not a bad one. Yuvan runs around the forehand into the corner. Eager volley, nice. Her volleys are something which I think can be improved. She's not bad with the drive volley, but when Eager tries to be too delicate, you don't ever see see her do like a little delicate touch at the net, like a little drop shot or something Alcaraz does. She said in her press conference she gets a lot of she draws a lot of inspiration from Carlos Alcaraz. So I would like for her to t come to the next level. I know she's incredibly good already. If she can improve her touch at the net she goes up for me another two levels I feel like it's so difficult to even oh. want to add it to the game though considering who are the players that she'd have to use it against that she struggles against oh, I mean there's always a situation where you would use it a little bit like yesterday against Dara Savo I see her try and volley a few times she went into the net she just mm. put it back on the racket of Savo she could have killed them by points dead 
I mean, it's a bit unfair, really, to, to give any more ammo to her. Um, it feels a little bit like, I don't know, the American army trying to, like, have a war with Luxembourg and struggling. I see it, then giving them another missile or something. And then saying, oh, okay, what we're going to do is look, Luxembourg are going to give them all their troops as well, just to give them a helping hand. I mean, it's just a bit unfair, isn't it? Yeah, definitely is a little bit unfair. You, Van... She's just got, it's like damage limitation in this first set now. Uh, can you get a game? She can barely get a point at the moment. It's yeah. very, very I can't tough. say Yuvan's played bad. Eager's just hitting big, like she's yeah. found winners. I know the stats say four winners there. Not sure how accurate that is. I've not seen a single mistake from Eager. She's made, she's been 10 minutes played and she's not made a single mistake. She's looked good so far. Um, Shame that not more people have joined us for it because it could be quite interesting. We've got Lee Lubster in going for the 6-4-6-1 eager win. And he's also saying, I think her serve needs to improve first before her volley. Yeah, I think the yeah. serve's not terrible, though. I saw her hit some nice aces, actually, yesterday. It's getting better. And there's some second serves as well, which she gets into the corners, which gets some uh, cheap points. I think the volley's worse than the serve. Quite sad that there's we now don't have all the matches going on at the same time as we go through the rounds. We can have to wait. I mean, there's one other match on at the moment. I don't know if you saw it. They've only played an hour and ten minutes, and they're nearly at the end of the third set. Paul and Fakina. Yeah, but Fakina's having one of them uh, toys up from. Do you reckon they're going to uh, come matches? back? Well, I mean, he's just Fakina's a difficult one to really get behind too much because his his head drops too much. Uh, I did watch a little bit because it's on Sky Sports and I've got all the latest Sky Sports package uh, <laughs> I've enrolled in. So I was watching a little bit oh, of that. Oh, it's, that it's, brilliant. Be... it's brilliant for the tennis, Ben. I've got every single match um, with Sky Sports commentary. I mean, I've, it's been brilliant. I really am enjoying listening to what they say. I find the Sky Sports cover coverage better than Amazon. I can't bear Amazon. Just make sure to uh, turn the uh, notifications off on your phone. <laughs> it's not that far behind, Ben. I mean, if I'm not commentating, two, it's fine. Two points. I don't know. Sometimes yeah, it's it about a point. Go. Nah, it's two. I know. It was but... just a second ago. I've just watched it. It was a point oh. off. I don't know if I can deal with that. It's like watching football when you're behind and then no, the goal it's, goes in. It's not. I'm going to be watching football later. West Ham are going to be kicking off in an hour and a half against Luton. Eager, I'm sure, won't keep me waiting. Double nah. thought from Yuvan. Uh, mistake there from Eager. First one we've seen from her. That's a really good return. Very deep. Brilliant. And Yuvan backpedaling, struggled to keep the ball in play. 15-30. Eager attacking the returns at the moment. And she's my champion. And based off what I've seen so far, the only lady who really scares me is Mukova. Well, I think that the first test that we thought that you may get would probably be in a fourth round anyway. And that's like being maybe generous. But we'll wait that? and see. Well, Ostapenko is going to be the person who's coming on court very soon. She, she'll be playing at the same time as Eager, I think. Player, and then, she... not person. Player. Yeah, that one as well. Uh, she's up against oh, Bernarda Pera. Eager. Let's go. Bernarda Pera is the opponent. American. If Ostapenko hits another 80 uh, un unforced errors, then it could be a three-setter again. But if she doesn't, I expect her to beat Pera. Oh, my word. Look at that forehand. Steps into it. Too good, isn't she? Yeah, I'm going to try these shots next time I hit the court. My eyesight's brilliant now. I can see 20-20 vision. I just need the forearm just to, like, be whipping that ball into the court. Boom. Oh, look at that from Eager. So much power. Nah. She's on the front foot again. Kai, you've... I mean, it's just embarrassing, this. Yeah. Um, There's nothing you can do. <laughs> you just can't handle it. It's just... It's... It's another Hanging level. Brackets. It's just too too good. Yeah, another break. I 
I mean, and there's a lot of empty seats inside the US yeah. Open Stadium. Not there's not many people in this chat either for an eager match. I honestly feel people are not interested in watching eager early rounds anymore. No, they're not. I just, I just don't think it is interesting or exciting because it is honestly like watching someone who's not very good at tennis compared to someone who is simply incredible. And I'm not saying Kai Yuvan's bad. She is a good tennis player. I tell you, I've seen her play some really good rallies. Iga does this to every, she does it to so many opponents. And it's like, yeah, it's like a club player playing a professional at the moment. It feels a little bit like me versus Ben first set. <laughs> <It's> always. <laughs> Not really, it's, not, it's not even, to be fair, this is more one-sided than that, definitely, because I feel in the first set, I still make a lot of mistakes uh, to give you points. I never really just do go like, through games to love. Sometimes I do, but not really in the first set. I don't think there's many games to it's love. There's normally a few juices. I yeah, think. so it's not like the eager one. I can beg you in the first set, but I won't game mm. to love you. Yeah. Oh, brilliant backhand winner down the line from Eager okay. there. What is Kai Yuvan thinking right now? Um, 17 <laughs> minutes played. Focus on the money. We, we could be looking at a record, this one, actually. Maybe I focus think... on... How much do you get for th a third round appearance? <laughs> Maybe that's the best thing to take away from this. I'm going to have a look. So, the shortest ever tennis match... Where's the women's shortest ever? Oh, my God. Margaret Court won the 1963 Eastern Grass Court Tournament crown in 24 minutes. What? 6-1-6-1. How does that 6 was not a bagel. Bagel. What? 6-1? Yeah, Doesn't make sense. Ridiculous. Uh, Steffi Graf oh. at Roland Garros won 6-love, six 6-love six love against Zvereva. That was a French Open final. God, imagine that. <laughs> to the 1988 French Open final, Ben, was 34 minutes on the women. <laughs> have tickets for that. <laughs> you, were born. you was born then as well. You could have watched yeah, it. That's it, mate. That was Zach giving you a bit of heat in the comments section. What's he saying? I said, easy. He'll beat Manorino as well. So much disrespect for Manorino. Nah, <laughs> Manorino's good. The reason I was saying that is I watched him in um, Awareness and I thought he was a bit, well, not great. Flaky. Flaky, that's the word. We know he's got yeah. ability. He's a good player, Manorino. I was just more willing him to lose than anything because I like Marazan. How about this Zhang Hijikata match <laughs> that we've got coming up? Two that we didn't really expect to be there and... Well, Someone's going to be in a fourth round versus either Manorino or TFO. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say about that, really. Um, I don't know who's going to win either. I think Hijikata, probably. Yeah, I would shy. But after that performance against Vucevic. But I'm not sure. I mean, the, all of these matches are a little bit... I wouldn't expect them. Stricker Bonzi, Gojo Vesely. Lee's in saying it's like watching Liverpool Newcastle. <laughs> So, oh, good serve. 40-30. I think they just changed the score then, and now they've gone back again. Oh, they're going to have to change it again in a second, I'm sure. Yep, yep there you go. 5-0. 5-0? <laughs> <Five nil. laughs> we win football. 5-0. Yeah, I thought in Liverpool, Liverpool, Newcastle. That's what it's saying. Are you found the qualifier? She's played some good matches to get here. Who's she beating the qualifying? She's on a bit of a run until today. Oh, yeah, she's great. It's funny, isn't it? You can just win loads of matches in a row. Like she's just beaten Pigosi, Kaji, Sakasumi, yeah. Cotioretto, yeah. straight sets, Lauren what Davis in three. Plays against Eager, then it's like done. Six love, six love. She had a good draw minutes, done. up until Eager. Let's be fair. Lauren Davis, Cotioretto? Yeah, I think it's a good draw. Cotioretto, 29 in the world. Clay court, more likely. What are you talking about? Cotoretto has been brilliant, Ben. Yeah, she's made it into the top 30, but that's on clay court performances. But I did say in the draw preview or the whatever it was, I thought that Yuvan would get into the third round, but that's it. That's where it ends. 
can't see a beating eager to die. <laughs> I can't. There's, there's just no chance. <laughs> the only no. way she wins is, is if Iga somehow, I don't know, forgets how to play tennis. Turn yeah. it to Saba for a second. Oh, Fakim has taken the third there, 6 3. Wow. You've well got done. Ben Shelton playing Aslan Karatsev right now. And I'm I a love bit that torn. Man. I'd like Ben Shelton for my bracket, but Karatsev winning's never a loss, I don't think. No, I mean, he could make a semi final here. <laughs> he could never say it as like Karatsev wins a loss. That period when he was so good, I I loved watching him play then. He's beating Lehetsko straight sets, Cobert's Bueno in four. He's looking good, Aslan. Yeah. This, this is going to be another little run from him. Don't forget, you're, you're a player roulette player is for Kina, so you should be cheering him on a bit more. Oh, even more reason for him to go out. <laughs> Here you go. Yuvan serving to stay in the first set. Oh, my word. Miss hit. <laughs> Did you see that point? Love yeah. 15. I mean, what happened there? Just rolled towards the net. <laughs> if you're just joining, hit a like on the video <laughs> for, for this uh, for one of the best matches. So competitive. It's scintillating. Um, at the first shot, it's quite interesting to watch her though. I don't mind watching Eager. Eager's like... return just makes Yuvan instantly have to run backwards about four paces, and then she's completely out the out the point. The next shot loops up, and then Eager goes. Boom, boom. I mean, I don't find it as boring as other people. I do find it quite fascinating watching her. Just like I like watching the technique how she does. Yeah, it. not just that. It's interesting to see her the way she goes about it. I like sometimes seeing what <laughs> what the opponent and how they try and work out the puzzle that's eager. Like, what are you going to change now? Like, you've not done anything this whole match. Is she going to try and add 50% to her ground shots, Yuvan? I don't think that's the solution, personally. I don't know what the solution is. Unforced error, six for Yuvan, one for eager. It's not even that many. Six. Yeah, but she's, six. Not had a, she's not had a hit of it. <laughs> Uh, in her oh, mind, she must be thinking, okay, I'm about to get bageled. Yeah, which is like, great. Oh, that one just flashed past long. Charity. That's another unforced error. I mean, they had a close match, their last match on hardcore in Melbourne. It went to three sets. No, I thought, I honestly did think Yuvan would have done a bit better. I thought so as well. I thought that three. When I you said three and three, I was thinking, I can understand that, maybe even could even be closer but then i went with um less four games or less purely just for the because i saw the start <laughs> that was me yeah, cheating if anything i mean it's set point now and yeah what how many minutes 24 yeah <laughs> well you're never going to catch the fastest <laughs> match ever my now was already in the locker room <laughs> Oh my word, it's going to be a bagel, isn't it? drop two games. <laughs> it is just wide. Eager finished it off anyway. My word. And it's a bagel! Well, yeah, yeah. We got a bagel. We got a bagel. We got a bagel. There it is, the famous New York Eager Bagel. Yeah. Uh, maybe we post the meme again because we've got it out. Is she going to get another one? Only time would tell. Surely you have would be a little bit better. I don't think it will be a double bagel, but you never know. Um, on to a more be. competitive match, and that is for Keena, Tommy, Paul. Uh, Paul won the first two sets, 6 one, six, love. <laughs> for Keena looking to break now in the fourth, I mean... Are we heading to a crazy fifth in match which Paul's going to probably bag him in the fifth? Match will be over in two hours, I think. <laughs> it's five got Shelton up a break against Karatsev. That's great to Brilliant. see. Crowd will be going wild there for Shelton. I mean, that section, like you've got in your bracket, 
Anything can happen in that section. Shelton to the semis is possible. Karatsev to the semis is possible. Fakina or Paul to the semis, also possible. TFO, Hitchikata, Zhang, Manorino. All that section is a potential semi-finalist there. Yeah. Who's exactly. it going to be? We don't know. Uh, some crazy news happening, actually, in women's doubles right now. Krachika Vasiniakova are losing. What? They lost the first set 6-2. And Vondrousova. Oh, it's the and, Czechs. Yeah, I mean, all the Czechs. There's so many of them. But Vondrousova is something else, isn't she? Like, what a year yeah. she's having. She's one to watch as well in this she tournament, could I think. She US Open. <laughs> We're not talking about it, but she could actually win the US Open. She's sneaking through and she's doing it quite convincingly. Her wins are not like struggling. She's managing to get like a breadstick here and there. Another one that I've not really paid much attention to who's cruising through is Bauskova as well. She seems to just be winning so easily. Yeah, but I don't think she's played anyone yet. Yeah, Martic. I'm not going to go to ham on that. But, um, what's this comment we got in from Dave saying Eager's getting her hair and nails done before the second set ready for free Broadway shows dinner shopping and sightseeing <laughs> yeah it's a bit easy isn't it she meeting up with uh, Sister Doza <laughs> we've got Adrian in saying Eager's ground strokes especially her forehands are just hit way too deep hit too early and consistently too hard for you then to cope with one way traffic yep that's the thing They're all, they are generally so deep that Yuvan's backpedaling and just... I think she, she just doesn't want to be there, let's be honest. Looking can't at her get on body the front foot and any rally. Doesn't want to be there. We're just defending. I mean, I'm surprised how professional she's been already. I would probably have put the racket down on the floor at this stage. Do you reckon that players like this are going to have to try and find another way of disrupting Eager other than tennis? Well, we've got an expert, thankfully, um, mm. in the stream who knows how to handle one-way traffic. And there was a time where you received, I think it was at 26? 23. 23. <laughs> My 23, lucky number, that's how I remember it. <laughs> 23 games in a row. So what is going through your mind as every game is just ticking past, there's another one you've lost? How do you deal with that? And how can you break the cycle? What can you do? No, on, those, on those type of days, I'm just sort of just... It's, I'm just numb. I feel like you're just not even, it's not even a thing. But how does it days. feel then to lose 23 games in a row? I feel like I was just happy for the punishment because I felt like I punished my body with alcohol the day before and I thought, <laughs> deserve this today. And that's why those, they're, they're a lesson that of learning for yourself. Like you have to sometimes lose 23 games in a row before you can come back in life. But why it's happening, do you feel like you're going to keep losing each one? Yeah, oh, pretty word. much. But is there like, say, you get to number 16, are you thinking, okay, I'm going to win this one? Was there any period in the 23 nah, where you go into I feel into like the, the more tired I get, the worse it becomes. The, you know what I'm like. If I've become so flat you the most sort of like free love. You thought, oh, I can take First one set, I think you get the, the most, there's the most energy. So you're, I'm still a bit more on my toes, but Second yeah, set, that. you're really good in the first set usually. Second set, you're a bit more like, all right, this is the one. We got the first one out of the way, but once the second one's gone, I think after that, it's just like whew, they start flying by. <laughs> it's like the year, isn't it? We're already in what September. I don't know where the year went. Is that's what those sets are like? Well, that ball did fly past Yuvan. It was a good backhand deep into the corner. Yuvan was standing there, but it was so pinpoint. Um, eager playing with not much margin because I think she's just trying to. Some- Good shots at the moment. She's Why enjoying not? herself. That's a game to love. Laugh if you start. A... Oh my start, word! Man. If you Are started you to see, yeah, so if you started to see, eager, notice that Yuvan was down the sunny end and just started hitting the ball miles in the in the sky just to try and put her off instead of actually trying to hit winners i don't think she needs to do that she can just mm. open up her rack and go yeah nah, but just for fun just to make it a bit more entertaining for us i don't think she wants to stay on there any longer she'd Maybe rather just right. get the double bagel and just get home this is what Djok- djokovic was saying wasn't he he was just saying credit to her she has the most bagels out of anybody oh my word <laughs> <laughs> that is a t- 
couple full. One of What's the worst with, I've seen. What's up there with the Ostapenko smash from the other day? Did you see that one? Oh, oh it was dreadful. God. Go and watch it if you if you uh, haven't seen it. Woo! Liam, for the free Ooh, man, is in. So 19, 19 months. That's almost as many. Oh, no, it's less. Yeah, almost as many as Ben's games he lost in a row. For Liam, if he's just joining, Ben Join. played tennis a few months ago and he lost 23 games in a row. It's quite a lot. Just flying past. A bit like this one. I reformed myself after that. See, that's what you need, though. <laughs> Went off the booze after that. He's scared of a bit, scared of touching a beer. Yeah, I thought I was going to have a heart attack, I think. That's probably the main reason. Too many vaccines. (laughs) Shelton's still up a break. Oh, my God. This is is actually embarrassing. Oh, God. (laughs) This is embarrassing. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to put it out there. I think this is potentially the most one-sided ego match I've ever watched. I don't know if the Wang... Was the Wang one more one-sided? Oh, yeah, the Wang one was terrible as well. No, I think this is more one-sided. Yuvan looks like she's given up now. Oh, Rip, you think? Do something, though. She's not won a point this set. Why not just go big on every shot? I mean, you're going to lose anyway. Are we going to get a golden set, Ben? Has she not won a point yet? (laughs) 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 Really? (laughs) God. (laughs) That'd be terrible. A golden. Have you ever seen a golden set? Probably one of my matches. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, there was no golden sets. I think you've been aiming for it a few times, but not. I, I can't allow that. I don't even like to allow aces. I don't think it's possible. Golden set. I feel like if you were hitting like ego, it'd be possible. Fault. I think that's the problem. Is that like your errors may creep in to prevent it? I don't think it's me that's preventing it that much. Uh, Lee's asking, did he smash the racket after 23? No, he, then... he, went, he went to the pub, actually, and had a lemonade. <laughs> Adrian's and then he came back and won. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I did win a set for the first time in a very long time. Yeah. So one of the next occasions. But then the occasion after that, I lost in straight sets. So yeah, what was, was the all... story behind that set, though? I feel like there was something... What was wrong with me? I don't know. No, there was something going on. What There's, was it? I don't know. I think I actually played all right, though. I, no, I actually was I was winning the longer rallies. That was the crazy thing. I was actually hitting winners for a change, which doesn't happen too often. I remember it. It was under some kind of I think cloud. I just got in your head a little bit. I don't know. No, Ben. I, was, I think I was, was I hungover. Nah, you don't You was fighting fit. No, the something went on. I don't remember well, now. I didn't win anyway. I lost the whole thing, but it was one set. That was still good enough. Yeah. I think after winning the one set, I was just happy with the one set all, and then I was happy to leave after that. No, and then I bought beat you in the last set. We yeah, end one all. Probably like six one or something. <laughs> I don't know. I was, I was too. I was in. That was a revelation. Just winning a set. Oh my god! Yeah, oh, it's on. Just, the golden just, set's on. Just the golden set is on. Golden set. Golden set. We got Liam saying JG had his Stevie Wonder glasses on for that. <laughs> no, I would have done well. He still probably would have done quite well with that one, I think. No. No, I think the weather. I think that was what helped me because when it's not sunny, I actually do a lot better. Yeah, there was a story behind it, Ben. I forget what it was. I say there was a story behind it. It was. But anyway, forget that. Sunday, Liam, have a think because. I would like to film some kind of tennis challenge for Ooh. the channel. Uh, and talking of tennis channels, they're, oh, it's not going to be a golden set because Ega, ah. I think she's just double forward to give her a point. Stop the charity. If you want to see one of me and Ben's latest channel- challenges, head out, uh, check out the Patreon. It's going to be a GTL first. Less of the talking. This is business. Do you think that we'll be able to win a point? If you have a little bit of luck. Oh, this is a fighting talk. We're going to see if we can return any of Sebastian off the surf. That's the killer. <laughs> Do 
There we go. That's when I ace Sebastian off. Now, if you want to go check that out, um, the next challenge will be taking place. I'm not going to tell you where, just in case we have some fans turn up. I know we've got some funny ones who like to turn up every now and then, especially in Lyon. Um, but <laughs> we're going to be doing a few tennis challenges. If you've got any ideas on what challenges you'd like me and Ben to do, and a special guest from the Liquidator podcast, let us know and we can think of doing it. I think one of them is the net cord challenge we're going to try and do, see how many net cords we can hit. Yeah. But if you've got any other ideas, let us know and we can do it. Ostapenko following in Eager's footsteps up to love in the first set against Bernarda Pella. Will we get Ostapenko versus Eager for the fourth time in their careers? And will Eager finally be able to beat Ostapenko? That is the big question. Ostapenko 3-0 and in the head-to-head. So Eager's only won one set in three matches against Ostapenko. Nice. I think she'll be all right based off this performance somehow. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> but Ostapenko brings something different where she'll just be this loose cannon firing big shots throughout the whole match. That's the good thing with her. She'll go toe-to-toe. You We've got say- Lee in. He wants me and you to play a doubles match against one pro player. Uh, great challenge. <laughs> I think it will. That's not one we could definitely do Sunday because we don't. We're not in the presence of any pro players. Just a professional YouTuber. We get tennis brothers on, but he's probably a pro on tour now. So no, we're we're a boxer Sunday. If you want to see us do a sparring session, <laughs> that's about it. Here we go. Love yep. fifteen. The only point she's got so far, Kai Yuvan, this set has been a double fault. Yeah, that's terrible. I mean, this is... If it was me and you as a doubles, you still th- I still don't think we'd have a chance against an offer. No. It's far too accurate, far the too powerful. The serve would just be enough. That would yeah, be it. Prob- yeah, for sure. I mean, I just... can get some of them back, but then I don't fancy you at the net to like... I don't know what don't you're going to do. I don't want them to hammer big, fast shots at me at the net. That's... Oh, grow up, Ben. Well, are you good at the net, are you? Better than you, probably. Probably. I've done. You've seen me do some mad shots at the net, and you can't even deny yeah, that's it. That's in singles. I can do it in doubles as well. You said Don't you're not worry. good at doubles. I'm not. No. I'm too selfish. Just want to be on the ball all the time. Yeah, I run over and barge to my, <laughs> my... <laughs> my ball. <laughs> Liam says playing tennis with boxing gloves instead of rackets, punching the ball. <laughs> well, my idea was to play. T- tennis with different fruit or vegetables <laughs> but yeah, we're not know. doing that ben son that's but not a sunday a... job we can do that at mine i don't know if any, any of the local clubs will uh, like us smashing kiwi fruits or something around the course yeah we're gonna have to think of it yeah there will be something for sure oh ostapenka got broken back shelton's still up a break the keener and paul locked in a fourth I mean, as you've oh, even tried to gonna hit get a win. game. She's going to get a game, Ben. 40 30. Game of errors from Eager. The crowd. Oh, oh they're my. feeling I, it. Do you know what? Honestly, if I was playing a tennis match and the crowd all got behind me and started giving me a stand innovation because I got close to winning a game, I would go turn around to them and say, you know what? Do not celebrate me being an absolute loser. I do not want to be here and walk off the court. It was patronizing, isn't it? Well, it's just embarrassing. It's like me doing that on number 17 of you. Just literally, as you're walking the other side, just give you a round of applause. Oh, she raises her hand. Oh, embarrassing. <laughs> what a game. You're embarrassing. You're <laughs> I'm not even going to give her a button for that. <laughs> Eager just made so many errors to prevent the bagel. Well, is that what it's come to, tennis? That she's smiling, that she can win a game. Yeah, Lee reckons we should move over to pickleball. We will be trying that soon when my eyes are recovered and hopefully we can bring you some pickleball content. I think I think that could be what me and Ben's niche is. Or paddle. Sorry, I, I thought I thought yeah, I got mixed up. I meant paddle. Not no. I'm, I'm not playing pickleball. Covey's on pickleball. I will, so... I'm happy I'm happy to try it, but I feel like it's just a little bit slow. No, I, I want to try both, see what they're like. 
Pickles. Was, mate, the... how embarrassing was that celebration to get him in a game? Like, I would just... You probably even... liked it, didn't you? You was like, oh, that's so good. I'm Why so happy for Why would you even acknowledge us. it, though? I suppose it's hard to when the whole crowd gives you a stand innovation for being crap. Then I suppose yeah. you've got and to you, you wanted to get stand up and clap as well, be honest. You, lo- you love celebrating losers. Celebrating losers. That's what you do most of the time, celebrating British players. Oh, they've got through the third round. <laughs> what an achievement, honestly. You've been celebrating West Ham for many years. What, Conference League champions? <laughs> oh, the Conference League. The Conference Finally. League champions. Finally won champions a, of C- Europe. a C League European title. And... Oh, steady on there. <laughs> yeah, Lee saying sometimes you just got to see the lighter side of life and tennis, Joe G. Maybe so. Yeah, brighten up a little bit. Why are you so serious all the no, time? I, I understand that that element of it, but I feel like in a sporting environment, if you're competing and there's people paying they not to entertainment, watch you compete, though? are they not being entertained? Though? Yeah, I guess so a little bit, but just like I would, I don't know. Just this is the US better, Open. Just... They're a rowdy crowd. Yeah, they gone. like doing stuff like that. They boo people, they cheer people. Anyway, after this game, I need to nip out for five minutes, Ben. Maybe ten. So probably with the end of the match. Be over. <laughs> <laughs> ten minutes. That's like a set. Yeah, no. T- <laughs> if it is ten minutes, it is actually going to be over. Probably. It's not, yeah, you have to wave goodbye. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> it's done. There's no chance this oh, is still on I'm in ten minutes' it. time. It's so riveting. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, Eagles no, no. Can... has gone wide. Anyway, oh, enjoy the shot. rest of the match, Ben. 4-1. Oh. <laughs> there we go. 4-1, Eagles Shriontek. Alexander insane. Is Andy Murray done? Well, in this tournament, he's done. But can we ever tell Andy Murray to stop playing tennis? No, we cannot. He is done when he says he's done. Liam saying West Ham a challenger tournament. <laughs> Could sort of equate it to that, I guess, or a 250, maybe. Dave saying Andy Murray lost to Dimitrov yesterday. I think Dimitrov, he's been having a fairly good time of things lately. I don't think it's that embarrassing. Lee saying JG's got to go get ready for the big Friday night. Yeah, he's probably out on the town, paint the town red or whatever you We've got Dave K saying, play like play with a frying pan like Roddick did. I quite like the thing they did with Novak Djokovic before the tournament started when he was having to play with different items. Um, what did he play with? Table tennis bat, stop sign, baseball <laughs> baseball bat. I don't think there was a frying pan in that one. Was there, a, was there a frying pan in that one as well? But he had quite a few different items that they wanted him to play tennis with. I thought that was... Qu- just showed how good he is at tennis. Uh, literally was better with a stop sign than most of the other players were with an actual racket. It's terrible. Right, here we go. So, back on serve, Ostapenko Pera. I mean, Iga's going to be hoping, surely, for Bernarda Pera over Ostapenko. I mean, she can definitely beat both those players, but Ostapenko, just the realm of uncertainty around it. Lee saying, yes, a frying pan. Okay, good. Yuvan, loud down, love 15. The shadow halfway across the court. Cross court, forehand, eager down the line, and she's playing defense. Just not good enough. I mean, Eager just wiping the court with her at the moment. This is just one-way traffic. How many points has she won in the second set? Well, she won a game. How many has she won off her own back? Not. I don't know. I don't even know if I can really count one. I think they've been just Eager's errors. The rallies totally one-sided. Eager bullies her from side to side. And Yuvan, there's no point even running. Love 40. This is the easiest match of the tournament so far for Iga Sviantek. She's really getting into her stride in this tournament. The match against 
Peterson in the first round. That was six love, six one. So long. It was a, some more rallies in that in that match, I'd say. The but same result. And Daria Saville, she was just caught eager on a bit of a an off day, I think. And that's considered a good result. Eager gets that one back in play. Good shot there from Yuvan. Eager digs it out. Drive volley from Yuvan, but Eager's got that back in as well. And it is going to be the break. And Eager will serve for the match. Here we go. Are we going to the bakery for a second time in two sets? Lisa and I reckon Eager would like to settle a score against Ostapenko. I'm sure she would. I'm hoping Eager doesn't have like mental blocks against certain players. Rabakina seems to be one that she does. Could Ostapenko be one as well? Eager serving for the match now. 46 minutes on the clock. I think the first match she had against Peterson was about 57. So she's looking to eclipse that by 10 minutes. I mean, it's just too good. Eager's forehand looking pretty, pretty perfect right now. And Kai Yuvan, just no answers whatsoever. Yuvan sort of just waiting for the end right now. Nothing she can do. I mean, hopefully she doesn't have friends and family coming to watch this match. I'd, I'd advise them to steer clear. Good shot there from Eager. She comes to the net. The volley, not that great. And the second one into the net. So the volley does need touching up a bit. Ben Shelton takes the first set against Karatsev. Impressive stuff from the youngster. Has a real opportunity in this tournament to potentially make a semi-final. Eager serve long. 15 all here. Other matches to be played later. Zoo versus Bencic. Wozniacki Brady. Backhand in. Eager goes cross court back and the slice from Yuvan. And that's long from Yuvan there with the next backhand. 30 15. Two points away for Eager for the bagel breadstick combo. Just one of the many things you'll find at Eager's New York bakery. See how Kralichika was getting on. Oh, it's into the net. I mean, it's so bad from you, Van. There's just no, no impetus. And it is match point. Match point. Paid for a ticket to see this. It's just a masterclass from Eager. Yuvan not done anything in this match. Eager just misses, going for the ace to cap it all off. Serving, second serve. It's in. The return is very short from Yuvan. They go backhand to Yuvan's forehand into the net. And there you go. Eager Sviontek, 6-love, six 6-1. Six and the breadstick bagel has been complete. Eager through to the fourth round. And a nice embrace between both the players and Yuvan. Full of laughs there at the net. I mean, it's literally like a woman versus a little girl out there on court. Well done, Eager. Eager. When the Polish girl be rolling in Each victim be serving them Bread sticking up bagel in I'm eager when you know the job I'm a feature, I'm gonna beat ya I'm eager, I'm gonna see ya Now you can handle my heat now
Well, that was a nice quick one. Thanks everybody who joined. Remember, hit the like button, subscribe, join the Patreon to see us play against Sebastian Offner. But uh, stay tuned on the channel and we'll be bringing you more tennis action a little bit later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.